investigating on this degree that she has. You know what I found? What? She studies parapsychology. Parapsychology? You no, know, the ESP and all of that. I think that's what makes her so appealing. Mm -hmm. She uses proven techniques and then popularizes them and then, I don't know, draws people in some kind of way. Or at least that's what I'm trying to find out. I think it's worth checking out. Did you think about taking another route with this thing? And what is that? Well, see if this uh, Domi has got uh, is a non-profit organization. No, John, it isn't. I've already checked. It isn't. Well, I'll tell you, I've had a lot of conversations with Seagate about this. There are a lot of crimes that are committed, and they're committed legally. And one of them is ripping off the public. Mm. Well, if I can nail this Vanessa Vazan or whoever she is, I'm going to do it. I've got one more trick up my sleeve. Listen, thanks, buddy. I've got to get going. Okay. Oh, hey, John. Why don't we have lunch next week or something? No, no, no. I can't. Why do you persist in this, Dan? My mother died. Vaughn handled the arrangements because my father was out of town. I don't see what's so wrong with that. Well, a judge in an annulment proceeding might not agree with you, Courtney. Tell me this. Has Vaughn been making advances toward you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Courtney, can't you see that he's just playing on your emotions to win you back? Is that so wrong? Yes. Well, maybe I just don't see things the way you do. Now, wait a minute. What are you telling me? Are you considering dropping the anomal? If I were, would that worry you? Yes, it certainly would. Well, it needs. You'll get your fee no matter what happens. Oh, Courtney. I wasn't thinking about my money. Look, all right, Courtney, I am your attorney. But I think I'm a lot more than that. I'm also your friend. And I uh, sure hope you believe that. I think I do. Good. Now, you know, a little while ago, we had a conversation. You remember about your, uh, the boys in your life? Vaguely, but I don't see why you bring that up now. You said then that there hadn't been anybody else except Vaughn, And right? Peter. Oh, that's another childish fantasy. Don't say that. I have to, Courtney, because you, you need a man in your life. I mean, a real man. Not these preppy boys who are just as immature and petulant as you are. See that? That's, that's what I mean. That's why you let yourself depend on Vaughn, even though he's immature and impotent. I mean, can't you see that? I mean, with your father out of the way, you just turn to Vaughn. You think he's the only one you can turn to. It's a trap you're in, Courtney. It's the same trap you've been in since you were 14. Vaughn's been the only man in your life apart from your father. He pulls the right strings and you just come running, don't you? That's not true. Oh, yes, it is. See, I know it is. Because I know women. I know how you think. Don't be so sure. Oh, come on now. Are you telling me that I'm wrong about all this? About Vaughn's intentions? Yes, you are. Oh, now, wait a minute. Now, are you telling me then that uh, because of your renewed closeness with Vaughn, that you are seriously considering dropping the annulment? Ben, is that all you're going to say is so much for the award? What else can I say? I mean... The awards dinner and the charity ball on the same night. We can't be at two places at the same time, right? I just wish we didn't have to choose. Ah, uh, but we do. Hey, don't be disappointed. I'm not. I mean, after all, one award is just like another one, right? There might be an answer. What? Well, Harold Webster is a friend of the mayor's. Maybe I could talk to Harold, and he could ask the mayor to postpone the date of the award. Oh, that would be great. No, I uh, doubt if that can be done. Yeah, but we don't know if we don't give it a try. Oh, Mom, that would be great if we could change the date, and then we could go to both events. But I've already asked Dave to accept the award on my behalf. Well, I'm sure there's no problem there. Well, there's no problem now, as far as I'm concerned. Well, what do you mean? Well, I think it's just as appropriate as it is coincidental that these two events are scheduled on the same night. I mean, after all, this award is for something I did in the past. And, Lori, that part of my life is over. Oh. Anyway, these... Awards get a little silly, you know? I mean, it starts with an article in the local paper, and then it's the AMA award, and then this article that's written up nationally, and the whole thing just starts to snowball. So let's forget about it. And have a nice dinner, okay? Okay, it's almost ready. Good. That's my girl. Come here. <laughs> <laughs>
What I do with Mr. Redlin is my business. Oh, yes, I know, but I was just curious. Nancy, I think it's best if you don't know anything about this. After all, you do live in the same house as his mother, isn't that right? Yes. Well, then, why don't you just let me handle this? Thank you, Nancy. Um, uh, uh, Dr. Fazan. What? Well, uh, uh, you're not going to make any threats to Jean Redlin or anything, are you? Nancy, there's never any need for a doma to use such banal techniques. Well, yeah, I know. I but told I you, mention... I will take care of this. Oh, well, Dr. Fazan, um, you won't tell him that it was my idea, will you, that it was me? Of course not. And, Dr. Fazan, what about the advanced domi training? Can we just uh, call this payment for services rendered? I told you I would reward you, and I will. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, oh. Dr. Fazan. Oh. Barbara, hello. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm interrupting. I thought this was my time. This is your time. Nancy was just leaving. Oh, yes, yes, I am. What level are you at? Viceroy level. Oh, Viceroy, that's almost a master. You must have everything under control. That will be all, Nancy. Oh, yes, Dr. Fazan, and if there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know. Yeah, fine. Well... How are you feeling today, Barbara? I'm, I'm still very tense and edgy. I, 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 I shake sometimes. Well, that's exactly why you were meant to go and see Dr. Martin at the Bedford Institute. You did go and see him with your symptoms, didn't you? Oh, yes, of course. Good. I'm so glad. Well, are you ready to begin our session? Oh, yes, I've been waiting for this all day. <laughs> you know, the last time we met, you mentioned that you were unhappy with your evening appointments. Aren't you glad that this one is in the afternoon? Yes, I was so surprised to hear from your secretary. I... You really do care about me, don't you, Dr. Fazan? Of course I do. I care about you very much. As a matter of fact, I'd even go so far as to say that I probably care about you more than any other person you know. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, shall we get started? Barbara. I believe this is going to be the most important session we've ever had. It is? You have my promise. Mm -hmm. 